Hello, my name is Dr. Kronk and I'm the CEO of Spinal Kinetics. And what I wanted to do is just a very short video today on x-rays, uh, oftentimes at Spinal Kinetics. At Spinal Kinetics, we're the leading company, the medical company in the country that does excessive motion testing. That's to test how badly damaged spinal ligaments are. And so we oftentimes get questions from providers uh, wanting us to review their images to see if these images are good enough to send in for testing. Now, when you're doing spinal ligament injury testing or functional testing, you are doing, you're checking for excessive motion. So your positioning is, is kind of key. So if I'm looking at these images right now, you can see that in the middle is a neutral, to the left is a flexion, and to the right is the extension. Now, if the patient could not be re-x-rayed easily, yes, I would send these in for testing. If the patient can easily be uh, sent in for better positioning, I'm going to critique the positioning here a bit. So if we look at the, the neutral and the flexion and the extension, we don't see a lot of positional change from this. This patient should be farther forward. They should be pushing down further, which I'll show you some, uh, some views here in just a second. And in the extension, unless pain Unless the pain is, uh, or the patient is unable to get into these positions due to inflammatory conditions or pain, then obviously it's going to restrict the range of motion. What you want to do is treatment to free that up and then take these images and then send them in. So what would we like? I'm not going to show you the neutral. The neutral is fine. The neutral in this case is fine. But if we're looking at flexion and extension, this is what we want to see. Now, if you look at the patient above, we don't see a lot of flexion here. The flexion is in the head, not in the neck. So what we want is neck flexion and we want neck extension. So I had my son over Christmas time, I think last year, we were looking at some images and I said, hey, let me just put you up against the wall and show you some positions. So these are the positions. You know, he has the, the hat on here because it was Christmas time when we did it. So you want to bend the neck forward. You want neutral and you want to bend the neck backwards. Also, if you're going to do an upper cervical or you're looking for the cervical profile, say in a mild traumatic brain injury, you're very concerned about the upper person was in a car accident and your upper, you know, the upper cervical, then you're going to shoot the A to P open mouth lateral bend. Now, when you shoot this shot, it's not a hard shot, but when you look, you have to be able to see the structures. I have to be able to see C2 on C1, and I have to see, in this case, there's serious overhang uh, with this patient's x-ray. So this is what an abnormal would actually look like. Now, in the lumbar spine, these are good images. These are, this is flexion, obviously, neutral, and extension. So the positioning of those, and I'm not going to show the neutral, but... The positioning on those is when the patient flex, you don't want them to flex at the hip. You want them to flex in the back and they, you should see a C curve here, right? Extension looks like this. Now, the most common error that doctors make in positioning of these images is this right here, right? So the butt sticks out, we have hip rotation and the flexion is not being done in the lumbar spine. That's, you're gonna see, in some cases, you'll see a bowed back. Now, this is sometimes a posture for the patient because it's painful so they can't get into this position. If that's the case, again, you have to treat them for a while and then shoot these shots. But you should see a C curve here. You should see a backward curve, just like you do up above here. You see this C curve right here. Okay, that's what we want to see in the lumbar spine. So what I wanted to do is just go over a simple x-ray critique, make a short video. Hopefully it'll help you out there. Uh, it helps us at Spinal Kinetics when you send these things in. We do short videos on them, and then we just make a video. We can send it to the provider, and hopefully you can see better what the positioning on these images can be because... It's very, very important. The spinal support ligament injury is one of the worst injuries a patient can have. So doing the proper positioning, getting the best shots you can, and then obviously using a company that this is all we do. At Spinal Kinetics, this is all we do. And you want to, it's a very niche uh, field. You want to use a provider like Spinal Kinetics in order to do your studies. So I thank you for giving me your attention today. I hope something that I spoke about here helps you.
Thank you.